بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ما بعد برب السيدة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله I want to thank uh, the brothers and the sisters from our era who have organized this. MashaAllah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them. I just want to mention one hadith which may uh, is just off the talk of Sheikh Shadi. And that is the hadith where the Prophet وسلم, spoke about a believer <clears throat> and how he should work in the time of difficulty. The Prophet وسلم, said that if one of you is sowing the seed and the final hour comes now we know the final hour Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has talked about it al-haqa al-qariya as-sakha al-tamatu al-kubra you know great enormity words can't really express the enormity and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that if you are sowing a seed and that final moment comes and if any of us are alive at that moment that will be the most difficult time in our life he said carry on sowing the seed you are not going to harvest that seed or what it produces but what the ulama deduce from this is that when you are doing an action which is an action of good no matter how big the calamity let nothing deter you let nothing deter you and as everybody knows that we are living in difficult times look at the dawah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he came with his dawah, when the first revelation was descended and he came to Khadija radiallahu anha and he said, Zammiluni, Zammiluni, cover me, cover me. And then she asked him what happened and the Prophet sallallahu told him about the first revelation. And then he said, Qad khashitu ala nafsi. He said, I fear for my life. And she hadn't prepared a talk on the life of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It was spontaneous. She said, Qallah. Wallahi la yukhzik Allahu abada. She said, by Allah, Allah will never forsake you. And then in a nutshell, she said, the reason is because you care about those who nobody else cares about. You help the orphans and the widows and the downtrodden. This was the character of the Prophet sallallahu and then when the Prophet ﷺ called the people of Makkah, when he was on the mountain, he said, if I was to tell you that there is an army ready to attack you, would you believe me? And in one voice, they all said, indeed, you are Sadiq al-Ameen. But still, Umar ibn al-Khattab who says that Umar embraced Islam on the sixth year. This was the dawah of the Prophet ﷺ. And he says, I was the 40th person to embrace Islam. Only 39 people had embraced Islam in a period of six years. And who was the Da'i? It was Sadiq al Amin. So, therefore, my dear respected brothers and sisters, nothing should deter us from the Dawah. And I say, you know, Alhamdulillah, as Sheikh Shadi said, mashallah, we are people from diverse backgrounds. If we cannot unite on the issue of calling people to La ilaha illallah, then you cannot unite on anything. If you cannot unite on bringing people from eternal doom into eternal success, then you can dream on about unity. You can dream about on about the time of Umar ibn al-Khattab, Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, Salahuddin, Nuruddin, because you're not living up to it. Again, I finally, I make dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept the work of the brothers of Ayera. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward everybody who is here. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us united in this dunya. And may Allah reunite us in Jannah. So those, Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.